when he, he brought in this movement of changing the Kenya 1982 constitution, he created a lot of political enemies. So, eventually, when he was detained on the 4th of July, um, the month following, there were two motions of adjournment in the Kenya parliament. The first one was 10th of August, and actually, the mover of the motion was uh, our long-time friend, and his long-time friend, Kalonzo Msioka. So, the people who spoke for those two weeks highlighted what they thought was wrong with the Mativa's proposals to change the constitution at once. Those, yeah. Therefore, okay. Therefore, simply because I said I can state this, those who spoke were Kalonzo Musioka, Dr. Gordana, David Mweje, Bob Franzi Jalango, Mwai Kebake, Nicholas Biwot, Professor George Saitoti, Zachary Onyoka, George Muhoho, Philip Licky, Josh Mangori, John Keane, Joseph Kogo, and Francis Olkapalo. So you can see the other side, the government side, they were so horrified. They thought Matiba would change the management of this country irregularly. So that's the reason why he was detained. They even produced, John Keane produced a list of the cabinet which Matiba was going to have for running the country. So, as a devil's advocate, you can see the reason why it actually happened the way it did. I don't think I can say more than that except to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Kadet Matiba lost the battle, but he won the war. <laughs>